dispersion of white light by a glass prism. You must have seen and appreciated the spectacular colors in a rainbow. How could the white light of the sun give us various colors of the rainbow? Before we take up this question, we shall first go back to the refraction of light through a prism. The inclined refraction surfaces of a glass prism show exciting phenomenon. Let us find it out through an activity. If a prism is placed in a room and a narrow beam of white light is allowed to fall on one of its refracting faces, what do you observe? It is found that light coming out from the other face of the prism is split it to seven colors. What are the seven colors that you see on the screen? The various colors seen are violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. This phenomenon, the splitting of light into its component colors, is called dispersion of light. The band of the colored components of a light beam is called its spectrum. Why does this happen? The acronym VIBGUI will help us to remember the sequence of colors. We have seen that white light is dispersed into its seven color components by prism. Why do we get these colors? Different colors of light bend through different angles with respect to the incident ray as they pass through a prism. The red light bends the least while the violet the most. Thus, the rays of each color emerge along different paths and thus become distinct. It is the band of distinct colors that we see in a spectrum. Isaac Newton was the first to use a glass prism to obtain the spectrum of sunlight. He tried to split the colors of the spectrum of white light further by using another similar prism. However, he could not get any more colors. He then placed the second identical prism in an inverted position with respect to the first prism. This allowed all the colors of the spectrum to pass through the second prism. He found a beam of white light merging from the other side of the second prism. This observation gave Newton the idea that the sunlight is made up of seven colors. Any light that gives a spectrum similar to that of sunlight is often referred to as white light. A rainbow is a natural spectrum appearing in the sky after a rain shower. It is caused by dispersion of sunlight by tiny water droplets present in the atmosphere. A rainbow is always formed in a direction opposite to that of the sun. The water droplets act like small prisms 